Hi, welcome to uh, another episode of Ghoulish Cops, Devil's Eve. So I'm working on my, there we go, working on my pillars again, as you can see here. And trying a new tack now. Wasn't quite happy with the old paint job. We had uh, This was the previous paint job. It was a dark charcoal gray. And uh, I mean, I, it was okay, but I wasn't excited about it. So what I'm doing now is I'm um, going over it with a roller and uh, with white paint. And well, the method that I saw for painting tombstones, painting it a, a base of white first, letting that dry, and then uh, going over it with um, a, a black wash and letting it run down the, uh, the face to give it an old-style look. So, I'm going to see how that turns out, and uh, I'll be uh, working on it now. Okay, what really happened with my paint job is that uh, I tried to uh, put the earth tones into the stone and really wasn't happy with the uh, work that I'd gotten. So uh, I decided I wanted to repaint it. And then when I saw the, uh, um, the tombstone tutorial on painting them, I thought that might be a good uh, style to use here. And uh, with my access door, maybe cool, I put an access door into the uh, thing here because the uh, lantern's going to be hanging out from that board there. But um, I've since realized I've I overthought the uh, the panel, and uh, I think it was Macabre Rob had uh, basically just put a tombstone panel, just put it in, and it had like a little turnbuckle to uh, access his panel and uh, that's what I'll be doing on the second tombstone that I build but right now uh, that one I'll just leave as is put the turnbuckle on but I'll make it much simpler with the uh, second uh, pillar and I added a little decorative detail to the top just to complement the one at the base and it also gave me a, uh, a platform to uh, nail a board on uh, if and when I uh, put a gargoyle or something else on top of that uh, pillar. All right, so I'll be back when uh, I'm getting ready to uh, put the black wash on. Okay, I'm back. It's amazing how fast uh, paint will dry when you leave it in the sun. So what I've done now is I've mixed up some black here and uh, with some water and I'm not quite sure how much it's going to be but uh, now we're going to, I'm going to uh, spray this onto the pillar and then uh, wash it down lightly with the hose. Now from what I've heard is uh, you wet the side first, then you put the spray on the wash, and then you wet it down again. If you just put the spray on without wetting it down first, it creates like a black splotch and doesn't uh, uh, run as nice. So we're going to give that a go now. Okay, so I've got my hose and I'm gonna lightly spray it down. Okay, I'll come back with the wash and let's see how this goes. And there we go. Get the spray all over myself. I'm 
thinking you might actually want to have this level when you do it so that the runoff is actually level. So, let's see. Oops, that's a little much. But you can see it washing down. I really took it off the top though. Although I'm liking the bottom. But the top, I think I need to put more on. I think shower was too much. And I should put a uh, mist. Yeah! Sure how all you people do this without making a mess or holding your camera steady actually there we go Let's see how that works that's looking better get a nice drain drip pattern on it I can go back later on and uh, maybe add a little green and it will be covered in some Spanish moss. So, all right, I've been summoned inside, so I'll be back. Okay, I ended up having a problem with my sprayer. So what I ended up having to do was uh, use a paintbrush. I had a very watered down black paint and wet down the whole uh, panel. And uh, then using uh, the paintbrush, I dragged it across the top like this, then underneath here, and then every so often, every few rows, every few rows, I would uh, go across with a, uh, uh, the brush and have it drip down. And I did not use the hose afterwards. I went back and did this side again too, and I think the, uh, the look is much better. Oops, wrong way. Okay, so now I'll just let that dry, and uh, so I think it gives a, a nice aged look to the stone. So I do like the uh, this method of uh, painting, and although that might be a little gray, I might actually have to hit it with a little more water just to let a little bit more of the uh, white to come through. But otherwise, I, uh, I like this uh, method. Okay, well, that's it for uh, the latest issue of Devil's Eve by Ghoulish Cop. And uh, subscribe to my channel. And check out my blog, www.devilseve.blogspot.com. Okay, thank you.